For me, especially after the US election, uh, the EU is being called more than before to lead on climate. And it includes uh, being strong on climate diplomacy to implement Paris, but also uh, to address this complex nexus of climate and security. And as you know, many of our member states are very worried about the implications in terms uh, of migration. So for the EU, it's a question of connecting the dots. We've got a lot of tools already available. We work on humanitarian uh, affairs. Our DJ ECHO is extremely good at assessing risk and proposing response measures. Our development cooperation is also working on the longer term addressing and mainstreaming climate change in all of its programming. And at the same time, the EAS, coming from a conflict perspective, is being integrating climate change as on an element of instability and risk in its assessments. So I think there is a lot of progress. It's still as an impressionist uh, painting. We've got pieces and bits and touches of color being connected more and more. And I think behind that, the global strategy that Mrs. Mogherini released in June of this year provides a blueprint for integrating these different elements, climate, security, but also implementation of Paris.